Hey guys, uh, meteorologist Doug Hetty want to update you on the weather, of course. Make sure, of course, uh, the, these are YouTube videos, so like, subscribe, and then you'll get a little bell in the top right corner that you can hit and get notifications. Uh, we're getting deeper into severe weather season. Our season, for us, usually, like, the prime time is from about April 15th until about June 10th. That's when we get most of our severe weather. Today is the 7th. So we're getting there. We do have severe threats. We have three threats that are popping up for us next week. So we want to cover that um, and uh, look kind of down the road just a little bit. But it's windy. It's kind of cold outside. Temperatures mainly into the 50s, which I would prefer it being a little bit warmer than that. All right, so let's uh, step through the next couple days and then we're gonna jump to severe weather chances for next week. For the rest of today, just kind of in and out of the clouds, you may get a random sprinkle or two into tomorrow morning. You can even see a few light little snow showers popping up, especially on the Missouri side. There is not a lot of moisture here, so uh, there could be a quick burst of a few flurries, maybe a quick snow shower mixed in with a few rain showers tomorrow morning, but overall not a huge deal. Another cold day, tomorrow highs only into lower 50s, and then as we go into tomorrow night, we're going to have a freeze. We're going to drop back to about 28 to 30 degrees, but Saturday does get better. We start to warm things back up, warm into the mid-60s. Most of Sunday looks pretty good. Here's our severe weather chances. So we have a severe weather shot. This is going to be Sunday afternoon, Sunday afternoon and evening as a cold front slides in. Uh, then we're going to have another threat on Tuesday and then a smaller window on Wednesday. Now, the timing of this can change because we're still several days out. Um, if the system slows down a little bit, we're going to have a higher severe threat on Wednesday, and that would probably be the biggest severe threat. If it speeds up a little bit, our highest severe threat will be on Tuesday. I do want to reiterate that you really can't see if a severe threat is going to hold a tornado threat this far out. The closer you get, that's when you can really start to see that a little bit more clearer. As of right now, this system doesn't scream big severe weather event, but it can always ramp up as we get a little bit closer to it. The event that kind of screams a little bit more severe weather is two weeks away, right around April 21st and also April 22nd. All right, so here's Sunday evening, cold front rolls in, uh, we warm into the 70s for highs, but we are going to, along that front, have showers and thunderstorms, and some of those storms could be strong to severe. So we do need to watch that Sunday evening. Now, as we go into Monday, the front sinks south. So any severe weather on Monday looks to be east central Oklahoma through central Arkansas. Um, maybe even clipping a little bit of northwest Arkansas, Fort Smith, up toward Fayetteville. That's where the severe threat is going to be. As we head into Tuesday, a warm front lifts back toward the north. So most of the day is going to be warm and windy. Severe weather will erupt out across central Kansas, down through central Oklahoma. So Wichita area, Oklahoma City, Tulsa area, even our southeastern Kansas counties and northeastern parts of Oklahoma. But a line of thunderstorms will drive east. Tuesday night, so everybody will have a severe threat Tuesday night, and then as we go into Wednesday, depending on how fast this cold front rolls in, we could have a window for severe weather, especially southwest Missouri, northeast Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, and then over towards Springfield, uh, Little Rock, uh, Rolla, West Plain. So these are the things that we really want to watch as we go uh into the next uh, several days. We'll keep our eyes on this, but this is what's going on. Then after that, if you want to know uh, what's kind of coming down the pike, we do have, uh, let's see, early the following week, so right around 17th, we have an event that we got to watch, but a bigger event, a stronger storm system is going to roll out. Well, actually, if we look at the pattern, you remember the Kentucky tornadoes in December, that outbreak? That system rolls back in. That's going to be our April 17th system. We're on about 64, 65 day cycle this year. So that would have been two cycles ago. 
Uh, so that event's going to roll back in around 18th, uh, April 17th, April 18th. So we do need to watch that. And then the event behind it that also gave us severe weather on December 15th, that's the one that I'm really kind of eyeballing for us around April 21st and April 22nd. So of course I'm gonna do these uh, daily YouTube videos. If you ever have any questions that you want me to answer on here, write it in the comment section and uh, I'll address it on the next YouTube video, which is gonna to be tomorrow. I hope you're staying warm. Uh, you may lock down that trash can. I had to walk about two or three yards to find mine a little bit earlier today. I'm sure the neighbors really appreciate that. But I hope you have a great afternoon. Enjoy your evening, chat soon.